What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to The Bench. And today we're going to be doing our review on the SIG Romeo MSR 1x20mm compact red dot sight. And we are going to put this guy in action today so you can see exactly how it performs when it's firing. Benchtop reviews are great, but we're all about performance and function. So we're going to go over the basics and then we're going to head on out and see how she runs. So I own about three or four Romeo 5s, and I love the Romeo 5. And when the MSR came out and I saw it, I was a little bit hesitant, but I, I pulled the trigger, no pun intended, and I got one. I got a great deal on it. It was $89. MSRP on these is $140. You can typically find them for around 100 bucks. When I saw it for $89, I knew I had to get it. So I got it, had it shipped to me within a couple days, and let's just take a look so the box here is your standard sig box nothing's fancy um comes with a cloth to clean the lenses it also comes with a multi-tool here it has a torque head on here so you can torque it the rail down on um, it has multiple flat head uses here this one here is to unloosen the battery you can use either side the top here is for your windage and elevation adjustments. Now this is a 2 MOA dot. If we pull out the instructions real quick, we'll go over the basic details. 2 MOA red dot and over 20,000 hours of continuous runtime. If you have a Romeo 5, this is a huge hit. Because the Romeo 5 boasts 50,000 continuous hours. It has the um, flip-up sights or the covers, lens covers. We'll get to those in a second. Um, it's IPX7 waterproof and it has your basic, it has your windage adjustment on the side, your elevation adjustment on the top, battery and illumination control on the top, and then your Torx mount crossbow. Again, this is a 2 MOA. It has zero magnification. It's a 1X 20 millimeter tube and it uses a CR1632 battery. So looking at the optic up close, you can see here you've got your flip-up lens covers. Now this is, to me, is the only thing that I don't like about this. Um, these covers are a serious pain in the ass to put back on. The good thing about it is you can really see through them. They, they don't obstruct any vision. They don't um, compromise any of the clarity, but Damn, if they aren't a pain in the ass to, to close back. You can take them off if you want. I'm just going to opt to leave mine on, um, clean them off, and call it a day. So you have your battery compartment right here on the top, your brightness adjustment here on the side. It has 10 adjustments, including two night vision. So you have your night vision one, night vision two, and then you've got your one through 10. Now this has a off position at the end of 10. Um, other than that, your brightness setting will decrease or increase as you rotate through the turret. And then of, when you get back to the end here, it has an off as well. So your off positions are all the way right and, and all the way left. Your windage and elevation turrets are uncapped. They are exposed, but they are flush mounted to the side of the optic so they do not get in the way in terms of um, obstruction or snagging so they're very smooth around there i'm not concerned about losing zero on any of this the mount is great skeletonized lightweight the finish is great i love ever how everything is blacked out or in a dark gray the romeo uses a white and um, i'm not a big fan of advertising my stuff when I'm at the range so this kind of makes it a little less uh, obvious as to what you've got now we have this on our AR9 which we have not shot yet so we're gonna take all this setup out to the range and we're gonna see how this performs in terms of sighting in and holding zero and we're gonna try to reach some range out with this and see what we can hit accurately at range so if you're watching this video there's a 97% chance that you are not subscribed. Yes, that's right. 97% of viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure that you hit that subscription button and also hit that notification bell to alert you as soon as all of my new content drops.
the SIG Romeo MSR. We're going to be using this on our AR-9 pistol that we built. We're going to be setting this in at 25 yards. We're going to be using our Wheeler Engineering bore sight to get us on paper and then we're going to fine tune it in from there. We're going to check and see how this holds zero, brightness settings, give you a good thorough review on how this optic works especially under a blowback system like a nine millimeter AR which is going to have a little bit more recoil a little bit more you know force that's going to be applied to this we're also going to be because I've been re reading a lot of reviews on our AR Glock mags tend to get pretty picky uh, when we're dealing with something like this. So I've got here uh, Magpul. This is a Magpul P mag for Glock. You can see this fits in pretty nice. This is a uh, 21 rounder. Then we've got a OEM Glock. This is a 10 rounder for my 19. Fits perfect. We've got a P mag 10 rounder also fits well. Then we've got these stick mags. These are 31 round RWB South Korean mags which are a little tight. This one I actually had to file down to get it to fit nice and then I have one that I haven't touched and you can see this thing really fights to go in and when you hit that magazine lock this guy doesn't come out so there's been a lot of reviews on these that some work some don't so we're going to test everything out let you know which shoots the best and uh, hopefully get a good review on this MSR okay so today we're going to be shooting some good old Russian <clears throat> ammo nothing great we're just function testing now we dropped three real quick we sighted in with the wheeler we're at 25 yards it was really easy to see that green from there. And just to show you the peace of mind and the ease that it takes to sight in, that's using the wheeler. 25 yards, first three shots out of that gun ever shot. And I mean, that's pretty good. I'll take that as a, as a first three shots, getting on paper didn't waste any time now we know if we put our average probably about where this center one is we've got to come up about one and a half and I would say over to the left two up one and a half left two and we should be dead on to our target so let's make our adjustments and fire three more See how we did. So here we go. That was our first three right here. That one round, that one uh, magazine, I put four in, and here we go one, two, three, four, dead on. I think we probably could come up maybe a hair. It looks like we're good with our windage. I would like to see the elevation up just a little bit more. So we're going to put it up two more clicks since that moves at a uh, half MOAs and we'll see where we end up and we should be good. But just to give you an idea of how important that laser bore sighter is, I mean, we're talking what nine rounds so far and I mean, we're on paper. It's looking really good and it beats just that whole rabbit chasing in my opinion it's you're saving round on ammo um, 
I don't know. It seems worth it to me for the money that you invest to get that wheeler. So let's drive three more home, see if we can't get this tight. Now, so far, the Glock OEM mag worked great. The P mag worked great. The uh, smaller P mag worked great. We haven't tried these stick mags yet, so I'm gonna save them until we get sighted in and uh, we'll see how they operate. Checker. Well, here we are. That's our original one, two, three. All dead, nuts, 25 yards. So far, so good. The AR9 is performing perfectly. I'm really happy so far with this build. The accuracy seems really great, even though we're using that really janky tool ammo. It seems to be holding its own, so this is good news. Let's try these stick mags, these South Korean stick mags, and see how they work. All right, first one up is the one that I filed down, just so it has a little smoother entry, okay? Perfect, no issues. Let's try this one. Now this one, you really gotta Drive it in. Okay. Hey, you know what? I'm going to call this baby good and done. All the mags work great. So I guess overall impressions, this thing feels great. It works great. The Zero held. I mean, nine millimeter AR. It's a lot of recoil, a lot of uh, movement happening up around here. And I think that that just worked out really nicely. It's uh, the brightness setting is working great. Right now we're on six. It's got a great reticle on there bright sunny day we're running at half the power that this would take um, the lens you can see these have flip up lenses we kept them down and the sight picture is perfect overall this SIG MSR for a budget red dot it's it's great it's great I like personally I like that the turrets here are open so you don't have to take off turret caps or mess around with anything like that. And these turrets are flush, so they're not gonna hit up against anything. I've got no fear of messing up my zero at this point. The reticle dial, the brightness dial is nice. Some people claim it's a little tight, but I honestly like it like that. I feel like it gives me good positive clicks it was really tight out of the box. Now that I've used it a couple times, it's loosened up a lot. Um, overall, the MSR gets a huge thumbs up for me. It has pretty good performance, actually it has really good performance, and holds a pretty solid zero. All right, so let's take it back to the bench. This is on six setting. It's a little overcast right now, but it's been bright throughout the day. Here's 10. You can tell much brighter. And then we kind of lose it. You can see it there. And then we start to lose it as we go down. But right there at six, bright clear day, no problem. So for those of you who may be wondering of, you know, possible engagement distance with this, I'm going to show you something real quick that just blew me away, all right? So we're using our MSR again. We haven't changed anything. The adjustments are exactly the way they are. 
Right out there at 100 yards, we have a gong. You probably can't see it, but you'll be able to hear it. So if that does not show you the practical application for a subcompact carbine in 9mm, I don't know what else will. Red dot, sighted in at 25 yards, we're tagging 100 yard plates. The plate out there is 8 inches wide. So just think about that for a second. It's pretty damn good. Alright, seriously this time, back to the bench. So to wrap everything up, I guess I would highly recommend this site as a budget AR optic um, red dot. It, it, it performed great. It held zero great. The, the clarity was good. Um, it is a 2 MOA dot, so you only have that dot. You don't have any kind of drops in that uh, reticle. But as long as you're, you're okay with that, in terms of a red dot, man great great job great great performance i'm really happy with it and again as you saw i would highly suggest this if you're in the market for it they routinely go on sale i would say if you can get this for anything under a hundred dollars scoop them up if you find it again for 89 79 get two of them because you're going to be happy with this on a uh, doesn't have to be necessarily a budget build a a better build this will work great too I shoot two eyes open when I'm using this and I had zero problem with that so leave your comments below let me know what you think and uh, if you're in the market again check it out until next time make sure that you're practicing safe weapons handling at all times and treating every weapon as if it was loaded God bless America G2 out mm -hmm.